Hey everyone, it's Dominique from Blogging My Undies, and it's a little after 1am, so I'll make this quick. I was going to film a bunch of separate videos and, you know, glue them together or whatever, but uh, it's 1am. So, tomorrow is the boys' birthday party, and what I did was I made cupcakes. You just take a basic vanilla recipe, and I made different colors. I chose red, white, and blue. Although it's more like pink, white, and blue for Captain America because the A-Man is a Marvel's junkie and it was his turn for a theme this year. So then uh, after the cupcakes were baked, um, I rolled out some ready-to-use fondant or royal icing, whatever you want to call it. And it comes in a package. There we go. There's one package. I know I have another one that's unopened. There we go. Yeah. So I was using this Renshaw Ready to Roll icing. So I rolled it out with a uh, marble rolling pin. Some say a pasta machine would be better, but I don't have one. So this is pretty handy, very heavy. Make sure you don't drop it on your toes. And uh, use icing sugar or powder sugar make sure it doesn't stick to either your pin or to your surface. I just use a baking sheet, parchment paper here. So yeah, uh, the original plan was to make Captain America Shield cupcakes. There's one there. So I rolled out the red fondant and then I rolled out white fondant and I cut out a bigger circle. And then within that white circle, I cut out a smaller one so I could use the ring to imitate the Captain America shield. However, the problem was uh, my rings kept separating and breaking, so I got a pretty frustrated, and then I looked to see what could be some uh, easier alternatives, and then I realized, like, Iron Man, pretty easy. This could be his chest plate. You could cut it in triangles, but most of them are circles, so that's what the white dots are supposed to be on red-topped cupcakes. And then I figured, okay, uh, using sugar water, I applied, you know, fond to fondant. Uh, the cupcake, you need to put buttercream frosting. That acts like as a nice uh, tactile glue, textile glue. And then you put your red fondant circle on top. Mold it as best as you can. I used a um, stainless steel uh, measuring cup. Here it is. To cut out my circle. Not exactly perfectly round, so... If you have a perfectly round one, it would be better. And then these two little ones for the shield pieces and chest plate piece. So yeah, uh, to apply fondant to fondant pieces, I just took a little cup and filled it with water and sprinkled a little bit of sugar, made sure it was dissolved, and that was my glue for fondant to fondant. And if you have a teeny tiny star, cookie cutter, fantastic. I don't, and I didn't want to buy one either. So what I did was I bought these marzipan, uh, slightly shimmery coated stars, and then I just, again, added my water sugar glue and stuck those on top. So not all of them have the Captain America shield on them. Some are Iron Man. Some are the shield. Some just look Captain America-ish. And I figured, you know, there's no point in making them exactly perfect because I'm restricted for time and my kids won't care. I think it's the thought that counts. Um, to dust these off, you should just dip your finger in water and just rub it off or a paintbrush. And uh, the sugar will melt away or dissolve. So yeah, uh tried my best. You know, I was inspired by Pinterest and... This is probably one of their better Pinterest fails, but it's a thought that counts again, and it's also 1am, so I'm going to go to bed, but thank you so much for watching, and I will post the vanilla cupcake recipe that I used uh, at the bottom um, after the birthday party, so keep an eye out on the video, and I'll update it promptly. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye!